Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining us for today's signing day press conference. Coach, would you like to start with an opening statement? Sure. Thanks, Kathy. Um, thank you to everybody for being here. Um, this is uh, just a really exciting day on on so many levels. And I think the you know the one thing that you know I'd like to to open it up with is is just you know really congratulating all the student athletes around the country. Um, you know that have signed uh, today to, to play Division One college football. It is such an incredible honor, and I think so. So often as coaches, um, there's so much stress. There's so much uh, that leads up to this day. You know, years of of, of recruiting and uh, you know building relationships and, and getting to know families and uh, you know the stress of of the actual signing day. I think sometimes we forget uh, just really what a special day this is and what incredible opportunities. Um, today provides for, for so many young men uh, around the country. Uh, you think about it and you think about uh, where they are today, you know, realizing that they have an opportunity to live their dream, to play uh, Division I college football, to receive a, 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 a college education. Um, there's just, there's absolutely nothing in the world um, that they cannot accomplish um, from this day going forward. And I would just like to, you know, congratulate all of the young men around the country who have signed uh, national letters of intent to play, uh, to play college football. Um, again, it's just a, it's a really special honor and I'm certainly very excited uh, and very grateful for, uh, for, to the young men who have decided to become a part of our program. Um, you know, it's, it means a lot to us and um, the families uh, for believing in us and for trusting us with, uh, with their sons. Um, you know, it's something that we do not take for granted in our program. Um, it, means, it means a lot to us to know that, you know, the most important person in somebody's life uh, is being turned over to us. That's a, it's a great responsibility that we have as coaches, um, and it's our job to, to be the best that we can be every single day for each one of them to help them accomplish their goals um, and to live their dreams. And it's certainly uh, a lot of hard work, a lot of time uh, that goes into it. Our coaching staff has done a fantastic job. Uh, throughout, uh, you know, since we arrived a, a year ago, a year ago yesterday, uh, you know, we've been working on on this class and uh, so appreciative for all of the efforts uh, that our coaching staffs have put in. All of the support staffs at uh, at the University of Akron have just done an absolutely fantastic job creating uh, really exceptional experiences for uh, the student athletes that we recruit and their families when they when they come visit our campus. Um, cannot tell you how many times I hear that uh, from parents, uh, from student athletes, uh, just really the experience that they had here and. Uh, the personability of our staff, the relationships that we've built, the experience that we provide on the visit, the academic programs um, that we offer, uh, the future of this football program and what we're building. Um, you know, we're just, we're so proud of that. And, and I'm so grateful for, for all of our coaches uh, and for everybody involved, um, you know, in the recruiting process uh, for all of the hard work that they've, that they've put in. And, um, you know, also, you know, would like to, to mention um, our coaches' families and, and my family included, because it is uh, a lot of time uh, is spent uh, to do this, uh, to coach and to recruit uh, top caliber student athletes to your program. And um, you know, we certainly um, appreciate the support that we have from from our wives and from our children to allow us to to do the job that we love and to be able to. Uh, you know, to put the pieces in place to build a, a truly exceptional program. So, um, you know, a lot of work goes into this um, and a lot of people, uh, you know, that are involved in making days like today happen. And I think uh, the, the class, the, the 19 uh, student athletes that we've uh, signed uh, today, uh, we're so proud of. I think it's a, a great group of young men. Uh, high character individuals um, who truly understand what it takes to be successful um, and are excited about the challenge um, that they have coming to the University of Akron to help build this football program uh, to be uh, the, the, the type of program that, that we all know it's capable of being. I look at your list and I, I check it against some of the, the scouting services and I, the first thing I notice is a bunch of three-star athletes who in the past, since I've been here, a lot of them have passed on this this college. What was the difference in your estimation this year? Can you see a difference that give you any reason what? Well, you know, George, I think, you know, really honestly, uh, today when, when Kathy sent over the press release was probably the first time, you know, that I saw, you know, any stars. You know, I, I don't know, um, you know, as you know, as you're well aware, I'm, I'm not really on the internet. I'm not really on social media. I don't know how other people feel about, you know, certain players. Um, 
I just know, you know, how we evaluate the process that we go through and uh, the relationships that we build and the evaluations, uh, you know, that we've had live in person on campus in the high schools, uh, the coaches, the, the the school personnel that we've talked to, and um, you know, we try to find the right people first. You know, first and foremost is is those high character individuals, um, and then from there, you know, what can they contribute to your program? And um, you know, I think we've I think we've done a good job identifying. Um, and again, I think our coaches have done a, an outstanding job of, of recruiting and building, um, you know, outstanding relationships, meaningful relationships that uh, certainly uh, are going to extend far beyond um, today. Uh, they're going to carry through, you know, throughout their entirety of their time on this campus and, uh, you know, hopefully for the, for the rest of their lives. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Janeer Wade uh, as well um, is another uh, freshman uh, out of high school that will be enrolling this January, which is is awesome. You know, you look at Deacon and Janeer; those those are two defensive linemen. Um, you know, a position where you know depth was a, a major issue for us. Um, you know, when we arrived, I think uh, you know we went into went into spring with four or five D linemen. You know, the last year, and um, that has completely changed. Um, I think we'll you know we'll be we'll be in you know 10, 12, um, you know defensive linemen when we you know when we start spring practice um, this January. So we're very excited about that, and um, you know MJ uh, as well. MJ is just a, an exceptional player, and really it was very important to him. Uh, to to have the opportunity to enroll uh, mid year um, and uh, you know for him to to be coming to the University of Akron means a lot to us. But if you look at that, it really becomes almost um, almost an extra redshirt year. You know they're going to arrive here in January. Uh, they're going to get a you know a semester uh, of classes in. Um, they're going to be able to go through our winter program, our winning winter training program. They're going to be able to participate in all of our spring ball practices. Um, leading into summer when the rest of the freshman class will arrive. And you just think about the experience and the opportunities that they'll have um, and the advantage that, you know, that, that they'll have uh, you know, going forward uh, to, to give themselves the best chance to play and contribute um, this season. So uh, we're really excited about that. We have a number of players, I think it's you know, 10 or 11 uh, you know, at this point that are, uh, that are enrolling um, you know, in January, which is you know, really critical because um, you know, in addition to the individual development that you have and, uh, you know, kind of building a foundation of, of fundamentals, of technique, of how we operate within our program and within our university, um, you're also creating a lot of competition, you know, within position groups. And I think that that's the most important thing for us, um, you know, right now. And it's, it's something that we really didn't have much of, um, you know, whether it was spring practice last year or fall camp. Uh, there weren't a lot of position battles. Um, and I think that's going to be very different. I think guys are going are to have to earn um, their playing time and going to have to earn roles on the team, which I think is critical for success. Competition brings out the best in all of us. And uh, the more we're challenged, uh, the more we have teammates pushing us in the right way, in the right spirit, um, the better we're going to be. So we're, we're really excited about the three freshmen that are coming in uh, in January, as well as uh, you know, all of the players um, that will be, that'll be here, here in a few weeks. Obviously, you identified the running game as a serious problem, given the num number of running backs you see here. What do this? What does this particular group bring in your estimation? And to go with that, um, the offensive line, another, for lack of a better word, problem area. What do they bring? And I notice a, a commonality with all of them. They, a couple of them are from Cleveland, and. One is from your alma mater. That's right. Um, you know, I, to, to address the, the running back uh, position group, um, I'm very excited about that group. And it's a group, uh, you know, a diverse group in terms of, you know, the eligibility and the number of years to play. Um, you know, it's a position where we really need uh, immediate help. Um, you know, guys with proven experience that have played, you know, at, at, at you know, in, in major college football at, you know, really high levels uh, of college football, whether you're talking about, you know, Cole, uh, Cole Guest, uh, you know, again, at, at St. Ed's, 
uh, kid, local guy uh, who went to Indiana, was a great player. When I was at John Carroll, I remember I was sitting, you know, went to just about every game he played in high school and, um, you know, just absolutely loved him. Uh, knew we had no shot at John Carroll. We tried, um, but, uh, you know, he uh, obviously went to Indiana, had a, had a nice career there, did some really great things uh, in, in the program at Indiana, and, you know, has graduated early and has a couple of years to play. So you look at somebody like that who's, um, you know, played big-time high school football, has played uh, in the Big Ten, somebody who can come into our program right now and contribute. And, you know, the best thing about Cole is just the, the mentality and the mindset that he brings. He's a tough, hard-nosed kid that is just going to bring a, a great, uh, great attitude into our weight room uh, this January. It's going to really, you know, challenge you know his teammates and push his teammates um, and hold you know hold his teammates accountable, which is you know which is really important. We expect him to be a to be a great leader for us. And uh, you look at Tion Dollard. You know, Tion is a you know is another you know really good player. He's a Played at uh, Independence uh, Community College um, in Kansas. Um, you know, Florida guy. Um, had great, uh, great high school career. Went to Alabama A and M. Um, you know, ended up at, at Independence. Um, and now to have the opportunity to to coach him um, is really exciting for us. And he uh, had some great, you know, some great opportunities. You know, playing in in, in the Jayhawk League, which is really. An incredible conference. Um, you know, really have gotten you know a little bit more familiar with that league in the past couple of years. And um, you know, you look out there, and um, there's some you know there's some major college football players on the field. You're going up against you know SEC D lines, and you know just incredible, incredible level of talent uh, in that league. And I can tell you, you know, in making my rounds around the different you know schools, uh, you know, in the in the in the Jayhawk, um, you know, just about every head coach. Uh, commented on Tion and the type of player that he is and what he's capable of. So again, another guy with great experience that can come in and um, you know and add that uh, add that spark um, to our offense that that we're looking for. And our two freshmen um, are outstanding. Uh, Isaiah Childs has you know been committed to us uh, since the summertime. He's been um, you know just probably our best recruiter. Um, you just uh, on social media, uh, he and, and Joey Marisek, a quarterback from North Royalton, have been uh, so fantastic uh, on social media and building um, really, you know, a great, uh, you know, camaraderie among all of our commits uh, throughout the past, you know, eight months, uh, however long it's been. Um, they've done a fantastic job, and Isaiah, um, you know, had a, had a lot of opportunities. Um, he was a Kansas kid, and uh, was really hard. Uh, you know, the, the the Kansas schools did not make it easy for him to leave that state, and um, you know, to his credit, um, you know, he trusted you know what was in his heart and um, believed in, in in the people, um, and you know, made that decision, and, and we're really excited about him. Uh, John Zell Norrell's, um, you know, is one of the top players in the state of Ohio, uh, from one of the best programs in in the state. Toledo Central Catholic, uh, extremely well coached, um, you know, just a great young man. Um, really, you know, both of those guys, just exceptional, uh, exceptional people. Um, you know, and John Zell uh, was one of the leading rushers in Ohio, a big, strong, you know, physical runner. Um, who I think, you know, in, in both of those cases, uh, I think both of those guys are going to, you know, com compete this this year for for playing time. So we're we're very excited about that. That was an area of need for us, um, and I think uh, I think we've addressed it as as well as as we could have. The offensive lineman, yes, um, very excited about our offensive lineman. Uh, you know, Ronan, uh, Ronan Chambers, uh, Tony Georges, um, and Nate Williams are just you know three you know fantastic people, all uh, very intelligent. Which I think when you look at you know playing the offensive line position, you have to be smart. Um, there's a lot on their plate. Um, you know, a lot of things change. Um, a lot of calls they have to make, a lot of communication that has to occur. Five guys have to be on the same page, uh, working in the same direction every play, and I think you start with that. Um, you know, those three are, 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 are really smart guys. You look at, you know, across the board, um, you know, Ronan's about, you know, 6'5", 260 pounds. Nate's 6'5", 291 pounds. Uh, Tony's just, just about 6'2", 285 pounds. You know, the guy's got 10-inch hands, 32-inch arms. I mean, these are big people, like really big people um, who have great builds, great physiques with a, a great, um, 
you know, great ability to add the right weight, you know, and to be really, um, you know, outstanding players in this league. And I think if you look at you look at the the group of offensive linemen that we signed this past year and how well they did uh, for us um, this past season, and you put you know these you know Nate, Tony, and and, and Ronan, uh, you put them into the mix, and you know you're just you're looking at you know really the future of the program because I think you know the heart and soul of your team is the offensive line and you know and I look at those three and I look at the group that you know that we brought in last year including a handful of our walk-on uh, players it's extremely exciting you know to see you know what what that offensive line room you know is going to look like down the road so uh, you know couldn't be more excited uh, you know again three guys from three great programs in the state of Ohio obviously you know St. Ed's and and St. Ignatius are you know to you know, national powers. Um, Newark Catholic is 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 a strong program in this state. So these are guys that that know what it takes to win. Um, you know, understand you know playing in big games, understand playing against great competition, um, week in and week out. So um, you know, I think that that you know that sets you know that sets them ahead. Uh, you know, of the curve in most cases. So, um, you know, really excited about both of those groups, running back and offensive line uh, positions. I think that really helps our program, um, you know, moving forward. Um, <clears throat> if you took yourself back to last year at this time, it was kind of a whirlwind for you. You just, you're here like three days and it's, it's signing day. What did you learn from last year to this year? How is it? What's the feel? How is it different this year than than last year? Well, you know, I think I think we I think we did the right thing last year. If you recall, um, I, again, I was hired yesterday, December seventeenth. Uh, press conference was December seventeenth, um, and the signing day was the nineteenth. And we didn't sign anybody, you know, in that early signing period. I didn't, you know, that was a really hard situation for our program. Uh, you know, to be in and, and, and to sign players that you have never met, um, haven't had a chance to fully evaluate. Um, and likewise for the individual student athletes and their families to, you know, to sign with the with a program and, and a group of to play for a group of coaches that they had never met, um, you know, really didn't think was fair. So I thought that, you know, we, we handled that as well as we could have and had very honest and transparent conversations with, with each of the families, with their head coaches. And, um, you know, just shared that, you know, this isn't in, you know, either side's best interest and, uh, you know, really took that month, you know, that, you know, a little over a month, uh, you know, to get to February to really um, to recruit and to get to know, uh, you know, the guys as well as we can to be able to build as, as strong relationships as we could in that time. And I think that um, I think we did a really good job of that. And I think that's evident in, um, in, in, in the performance of those freshmen, you know, that we brought in some that we had relationships with uh, going back to, uh, you know, recruiting. Um, you know, at Chattanooga, um, and some that we were able to, you know, to get to know and, and evaluate, um, you know, in a relatively short amount of time. But I think there's a great lesson to be learned in that, um, because you look at some of the players that we signed in, 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 in last year's class that, you know, maybe were, weren't, uh, you know, highly touted players as juniors, um, but had great senior years. Um, and, you know, look at what they've done for us. Um, you know, in, in our program, the type of players that we know that they're capable of being and will be uh, for us. And I think it just it reminds you that there's a lot of great high school football players in this part of the country, whether you're talking Ohio, Western Pennsylvania, um, there's a lot of great programs. And some guys don't come on until, you know, until their senior year. And I think that it's important for us and a big part of what we do is to not lose sight of that senior year evaluation. You know, there's always this race. And, you know, certainly we felt it too. You know, in the summertime, it's like, okay, like all these schools in the league have, you know, 10, 15 guys committed. And, you know, well, we got to get, you know, guys committed. And, and, and the truth is, you don't. You know, you want to get the right guys committed. Um, and, you know, when you have that, you go all in. But I don't think you ever want to lose that opportunity uh, to take advantage of. Uh, of, a, of a, 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 a student athlete who has a great senior year. I know, like, I was one of those guys. I was one of those guys. I didn't play a, as a junior. Um, you know, didn't start at quarterback until, you know, the fifth game my senior year. And I was sitting in a lot of their seats and had a lot of Division One programs, Akron included, that, you know, came and talked to me and said, hey, like, we've already offered, you know, this guy, and if he doesn't take it, uh, we'll offer you a scholarship, or we want you to walk on because we don't have any spots left. And I wasn't doing that. Like I, I wasn't going to go be somebody's second choice. So I think that you know, 
you learn and you see the players that have great senior years in this area. You know, you look at, you know, somebody like Ronan, somebody like Ronan Chambers who was injured, um, you know, as a junior. He's, he's a fantastic football player. You know, turned down a lot of offers uh, to, to stay with us, to stay committed to us and to sign with us. And, you know, we can't, you know, we can't say enough about that, you know, about, you know, the type of person he is to do that and, um, you know, what it means to us to, 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 to be able to have him in our program. So um, I think that's really important and, and I'm excited. You know, I think we have a few guys in this, in this group that were, were in very similar situations. Um, and I think, you know, with, with a number of the spots that we have uh, remaining that, you know, there's going to be some of those guys um, that just had fantastic senior seasons that are projecting really well at the next level. So, you know, I think uh, I think that was really important for us. Ultimately, we don't know what you have here for another two or three years. Right. Um, <clears throat> but does it mean anything knowing that this is the highest ranked class this program has seen since 2009? Again, you know, I, I, I heard that literally, uh, you know, walking in. Um, you know, it doesn't. Um, you know, I think it's uh, – you know, I, I certainly, you know, am very proud of, you know, the work that we've put in and, you know, again, our, our ability to uh, identify and evaluate and recruit and build relationships and all those things. Uh, but again, you know, the, the rankings and, you know, all those things are really, you know, they're nice, you know, for today. Uh, you know, and, and for a press release. But um, at the end of the day, you know, it's about the product that you put out on the field and, um, you know, how you perform on the field, regardless of how many stars you have, how many offers you had, you know, after today, none of that matters. And it's, it's our responsibility to, you know, to bring this group in and to develop them uh, as well as we possibly can, you know, and to put them in the best positions that we can um, to take advantage of the things that they do really well. Um, I think that uh, you could see from the jump that a team like Central Michigan made from a year ago to this year, and then from Kent, basically, you know, we had run them quite a few years up until this year. Uh, they're in a bowl game now. Do you feel that this class, with kind of the influx of more mature players um, coming from junior college, that the Zips are prepared to maybe make a jump like that to, you know, as quick as maybe next year? You know, I, I, it, again, you know, we're we're trying to do you know the best that we can and bring in the best players that we can for our team. You know, based on our needs. Um, you know, this isn't something that, you know, you're trying to you know just instantaneously fix. Um, it doesn't work that way. Um, you know, we have a lot of work to do. Um, you know, within this program, but I do think we got better. Um, I think we have certainly improved. Um, I think we're in a completely different place. Uh, today than we were at this time last year, and I'm very excited about that. Um, but you know, I think you can look at you can look at this conference, and you can look at uh, you know so many programs that have had experiences like that. Um, you know, groups that you know you know you go through, and you got to build it. You got to build it the right way if you want to sustain success. And you know, I think that I think we've done that. I think we we did a fantastic job of that throughout the course of this this past year. Um, and I know we're going to continue to do that. So, uh, yes, we, uh, you know, we do, uh, you know, hope to be a lot better um, next season. Uh, but, you know, to be able to predict, you know, what that means is, is, is difficult. Um, but we do know that we're, you know, we're given everything that we have every single day, um, you know, that we've brought in a great group of players, a great group of young men um, to this program that are going to be able to help our team and add competition uh, really across the board at every position uh, to put us in a much better spot, you know, as we enter uh, this next season. Um, this is the early signing period. There's also an additional signing period in February. So sure. do you have like a two-stage plan here for the next signing day or? We, we absolutely do. Um, there's, uh, you know, there's a number of players that, uh, you know, that, that we are, you know, still actively recruiting and uh, plan on, you know, bringing in for official visits, um, you know, in, in January. So, you know, absolutely. And again, I think it's, you know, it's nice to be in that position where you have some, you have some, some space left. Um, you don't know it. And again, we, we, we just got here 
a year ago um, and you know kind of did all the work we did in that in our in our current freshman class um, in this time and there's some really good players uh, in that group that you know certainly contributed at a very high level for us this season and and will only get better uh, for us so um, you know I'm excited uh, to see you know kind of what you know you know what we're what we're able to do in these you know in these last few spots that we have and um, I know there there's you know there's some guys that you know we're we're currently working on and um, you know I think we have a very good opportunity to sign in, in February um, but there's also you know a couple spots that are really uh, really open at this point that um, you know we're, we're evaluating for um, right now so you know it'll be it'll be interesting it'll be uh, again a, a lot of hard work and uh, you know a lot of traveling and uh, you know a lot of evaluating you know over these these next couple of months. Um, now that we've concluded the media part of our press conference, do any of our guests have a question for Coach Arth? Don't be shy. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. It's great to see everybody. Thank, thank you all for coming. It means a lot. It really does. Oh, he wants one more. Okay. Yes. Um, with all the players that you got, the uh, junior college type players from the Kansas area and even uh, high school, uh, is it Coach Rodriguez that has a lot of ties to that area? You know, Coach Rodriguez, uh, he does. He's he's uh, he's done a great job for us. He's been uh, that's that's his area uh, that he that he recruits um, for us and uh, was able to get out there uh, on the bye week, um, you know, and see you know a lot of these guys. We were able to have a visit earlier, uh, you know, during the season um, with a lot of these guys, and um, you know, he's got great experience uh, in that league. He he was a player. Uh, in that league, he you know got you know started his coaching career um, in that league, so has some really strong relationships. Coach Everett as well. Coach Everett, um, you know, played in in, in the Jayhawk um, at Coffeyville, and um, I think when you know when you when you have those type of relationships um, in that league, it makes it a lot easier because, as I said, there's so many like really talented players in that conference, um, but you have to sift through a lot. You know, and, the, and there's not as many guys that, um, you know, really fit your program and what you're looking for. And I think when you have uh, someone with, with Coach Rodriguez's, you know, relationships in that league, uh, really with just about every head coach and, you know, so many assistant coaches, um, Coach Everett's, you know, experience, um, you know, in that league, I think it, it really helps. It helps you really identify um, the right guys, not just guys that can help your team, um, but the right ones. And it narrows your focus and it allows you to really, you know, really go, you know, all in, um, you know, on a select amount of guys that, you know, that you that you really think are the right fit uh, for your needs as a team, but, you know, for also the program um, that you're building. And, and, and we're, you know, we're really excited about that. And, you know, Coach Rodriguez did a great job, you know, initially, you know, in this process and, um, you know, getting these in, the information and the, and the names to, to our staff, um, you know, and being able to, you know, go out and, and recruit, you know, these guys because it's extremely competitive. Um, extremely competitive, um, and we've you know we've you know we've targeted some uh, some junior college players in the past, and um, you know been in great shape, and at the end you know didn't get them. Uh, so to be in the situation where we are, um, you know today you know with with the junior college players with some very good junior college players um, is really exciting for us because again these are these are these are young men with uh, with experience who have played high level football you know against great talent. Um, so, you know, there are people that we feel very confident um, that are going to come in and really push, um, you know, push the, 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 the roster um, for, you know, for uh, four spots on the team. Thank you all. Okay. Thank you.